Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin and my bookstagram is at High Lady of the Book Court. We have another unboxing today. This is for the Bookish Box. It is their November 2021 YA box, Journey to Another World. On their Instagram, they announced that this is the perfect box for those that dream to escape to fictional worlds. The book of the month is Autumn's Tip by Hannah Parker. And the Bookish Box exclusive edition has an exclusive dust jacket by Alice Cow Illustration, custom reversible dust jacket by Sully Arts. It is signed by the author, has custom end papers by Sully Arts, interior artwork by Gabrielle Ragusi, stents and sprayed edges by Alice Cow Illustration, and exclusive hardcover stamp by Letterpiece. The items in the box will be inspired by the worlds of Sarah J. Mass, Narnia, Crave, Lord of the Rings, These Hollow Vows, and more. I'm really excited to see what they included in this month's box, so let's get unboxing. The first item that I'm seeing is this super cute holiday card, and on the back we have Happy Holidays, and it reads, thank you so much for your support this year, love the bookish box and shop. I think this is so cute, they have a little holiday card that they've sent out, and I think it's just a really nice touch. The next thing that I'm seeing is this art print, and this is the theme art for the December box that's upcoming, and on the back we have a little letter from the curator for the YA bookish box. The next thing that I'm seeing are these super cute cookie cutters. These are designed by the bookish shop. The next item that I'm seeing is inspired by these hollow vows. It has the moon and sun necklace and it comes along with a quote reading fairies of all kind dance under the moonlight that shines in through a domed glass ceiling. That is one of my favorite necklaces that they've ever included in one of their boxes. The next item that I'm seeing is the shirt of the month. It is inspired by Lord of the Rings and designed by Cree Therese. It has a quote that reads, not all those who wander are lost. The next item that I'm seeing is one that I'm very, very excited about. This is a beanie that in collaboration with Sarah J. Mass is officially licensed and inspired by the different worlds from Throne of Glass, Crescent City, and Akatar. And what's really interesting is that the bookish box did it so that they have three different hats and they randomly packed each of the boxes with different hats. I reached out to one of my friends on bookstagram, Kitten Door Reads, and she received the Crescent City hat. She was so nice to send me a picture, which I've included right here, of what the Crescent City one looks like. The one for Throne of Glass is green, where this one's blue and mine's purple. It has the little crest of the stag, and it reads Terrison. Next up, we have the Candle of the Month with artwork by Nicole Deal Art. This is Hudson from Crave. The scent is Rainwater and Pine. As always, it came with a reversible bookmark. Next up, we have this gorgeous pin. This is designed by Katarina Book Designs, and it's inspired by Narnia. And finally, we have the Book of the Month. Here we have Autumn's Tiff by Hannah Parker. The exclusive Bookish Box Edition has an exclusive dust jacket by Alice Cow Illustration, custom reversible dust jacket by Sally Arts. It is signed by the author. It has custom end papers by Sally Arts, interior artwork by Gabrielle Ragusi, stencil sprayed edges by Alice Cow Illustration, and an exclusive hardcover stamp by Letterpiece. Hello again, we're back in my normal filming location. My camera battery ended up dying, and when I replaced it, somehow my microphone came unplugged, so I didn't have any audio in the second part of my video, and I wanted to make sure that I edited this on Sunday night so I can get it out this week. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the missing parts that had no audio. Here we have Autumn's tip, and I'm gonna read the summary. Every girl in Balamore dreams of being chosen by the Fae, for some because the Fae promised to deliver them to the beautiful fairy realm, for Larkin because her closest friend was chosen the previous year. She tries to accept her fate until she discovers that her friend is in danger and the promise of eternal joy amongst the Fae could be a lie. Larkin breaks the sacred covenant between humans and Fae and enters the fairy realm to find her friend. Her only ally is Finder, a fairy prince of the Autumn Court who now owes her a debt after she unwittingly saved his life. Their bond is both the key to her survival and possibly her downfall. Underneath the glittering facade of the fairy realm sees the shadowy pact written blood, betrayal, and lust for power at any cost. A tith must be paid by each of the courts of Ariadne. Both Finder and Larkin's people face retribution if the tith goes unpaid and their bond could destroy the foundations of the court and the human world forever. This is definitely something that is right up my alley and I'm really glad that the Bookish Box chose this as their November book of the month and I'm looking forward to reading it soon. Thank you so much for watching my video. I'll have all my links down below in the description along with all the items included in the box and those who worked on them. I have a bunch of super exciting content coming up soon on my channel so if you've enjoyed this video please subscribe and give me a like because it really does help. I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay bookish!